Aries, keep it there, please. What is going on, baby? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Did you miss me, baby? Did you miss me? Yes, I missed you. I surely did. Shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to every last one of you that has clicked this video. We are in here, Aries, to find out what the energies are surrounding you for the month of may okay come on now may okay springtime may showers okay come on now come on now we need some water we need some what listen we need a little bit of nourishment okay so come on and rain it all down on us and everything like that yes yes just give us all of the nourishment that we need yes we need a little bit of water okay y'all got y'all water mm-hmm yes take a sip girl listen keep that body nourished and um What's it? Hydrated. Yes, honey. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Let me keep that hydration and rotation. So listen. I want to give a big thank you to all of my babies that have been booking personal private readings with me. Shout out to every last one of you. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click that about tab. You link up with me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can um, send me a message on Google Hangouts, which is an easy app to just download. Only thing you need to exchange with me is our email. So my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So again, if you would like to book a reading with me link up with me on instagram all of that stuff like that the booking prices everything is all on the about tab all right so um if there's anything personally that you guys would like to talk to me about you can always use my email again which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and shoot me an email and we can chitty chat it up about whatever it is that you want to talk about um so i just want to give a lot of thanks thank you to everyone who has been sending love through the amazon wish list like shout out to all of you because y'all have been just like blessing the page majorly and we actually have a new deck that is coming in the mail i think around may the 5th or something like that is some new deck or something like that but y'all will see it when it gets here so again shout out to all of y'all that's been sending support and love through the amazon wish list thank you so much so as we always do you know we want to give thanks to the creator and just give him just like thank you for all of the well wishes and the just bountiful blessings that is yet to come our way so you know he want to hear what we got to say so father god we are coming here collectively under the sign of Aries to just give you just thanks. Thank you so much for just loving us. Thank you so much for just keeping us safe, healthy, and, you know, giving us warmth and just, like I said, en enough um, hydration and nourishment during this time. Um, we're not really in worry or being in a real state of like need or anything like that. So there's a lot of people that is like going through a lot of struggles right now. So our heart goes out to all of them and just thank you for all of the love and protection that you continue to pour down on us, Father God. Um, we know that uh, we are still being diligent on our growth on this path, on this journey that we've been on. So, Father God, please keep us with that sun shining on us, with our head held high, and, you know, <laughs> with a thorough supply of whatever we need. Come on, with our head held high and a thorough supply. Listen, come on, we, we out here to protect and serve. I don't listen. I don't know what you got to supply up, but it's just like you just, it's, oh, okay. So, we just going to get into this. So, Father God, thank you so much for all of the guidance that you've given us during this time. Thank you so much for all the blessings in the past, present, and future. Just continue to, you know, give us all of the guidance and the nourishment and, you know, the hydration that we need during this time. Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Aries. Come on now. Keeping our head held high with a thorough supply in the name of Jesus. Let's come on. Let's come on now. Let's see what type of moon energy we got here for Aries. Look with a thorough supply. Okay, come on. What is we serving? We got to We got to We got to take care of some things. We got to take care of a few people. Dropping off a few packages and making sure everybody is okay. Come on, Aries. That's what I'm talking about. That's that emperor shit. You already know. Look, I got to take care of my people. Yes, God. Come on, Aries. Keep it right there, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. So let's get into this. Let's see what we got for my Aries. What type of moon energy do we got for my Aries? All right. What is this? The creation. The beaver moon. All right. 
creation. So a lot of people have been having some time to sit back and think and create and plan and map out their next steps. Because before all of this corona stuff happened, we were a little bit too busy too busy now we got enough time and enough dedication and energy but we could really start sitting down really mapping out what our next steps are once we get out of this situation here and this is a full moon energy this is the beaver moon the beavers if you think about beavers they create dams you know so that it's one thing to have hydration and water but there's a whole nother thing for it to be a flood do you feel me it's something about emotions of other people that you don't give a damn about <laughs> hello okay it's okay there's too much emotions it's too much water too much water can drown you and it's like, I, I don't, it's too many other people emotions that is outside of my safekeeping of living that I don't give a damn about. So you guys about to, <laughs> okay, plot, plan, and strategize and create, you know, a way to hold back some of them overflowing rivers that is coming into your selection of where your little pond is. Do you feel what I'm saying? You are fond of your little pond, okay? You don't need nobody else coming to tell you about what you need to do. I am fond of my little pond, and I don't need nobody else's emotions and nobody else's characters trying to tell me about my characters and my character flaws. Me, and I'm fond of my little pond. Keep your shit beyond the wall, bitch, because I don't give a damn, okay? Little beaver. The beaver said, I don't give a damn about your emotions and what the fuck you got to say. Keep that shit beyond this wall. Okay, y'all are creating a wall. Yes, come on. Aries, keep it right there. They said, oh, listen, something was illuminated to me. Some said, I need, to, I need to plan, plot, and strategize. Okay. Load up the gats. We are reloaded. Boom. Okay. Straight like that. Come on with this Game of Thrones energy. Okay, because I was one I was like, why am I feeling real Game of Thronesy in Matt? <laughs> I'm feeling real Game of Thronesy. Okay, now listen, listen to me, Tony. Listen, I'm talking to a male energy right now. He said, "This some emperor shit right now." Okay, I have this is one of my Aries and her female boss ass energy. Like, listen, okay? Huh? Ooh, yes, honey. Let's see what we got here. Okay, right off the top. Oh, he has the will of fortune in the name of Jesus. Claim it! Claim it! Come on! You say, baby, I already know where I'm headed. I'm driving this bitch right on to glory. Okay, right on to freedom. Look, I don't give a damn. Okay? Listen, I don't give a damn about what anybody else is saying. I'm fond of my little pond, and I'm creating a dam to keep that overflow to fuck up out my goddamn space because I already know where I'm going. Look, I am blessed and highly favored. Say it with me. I am blessed and highly favored and don't give a damn about nobody else's emotions. I know where I'm going. In the name of Jesus, listen, you got the hangman, okay? Okay, so listen, the hangman is when you're seeing something from a whole totally different perspective. You have been separated from the rest so that you can see things differently to be at your best. Okay, you were separated from the rest. Okay, huh. so you can see things to be your best. You see things from a whole totally different angle. Sometimes you got to be flipped upside down to get right side up, you know. Sometimes you got to fall on your head. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, shit. Okay? <laughs> sometimes that would, that's what happened. You stumble. And sometimes when you lay in there on that ground or suspended in air, you hung up in some shit that, you know, you ain't really end up wanting to be involved in like that. And when you sitting there suspended or you laying down on that ground because you bloop, 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 you fell, right? And you sitting there, you looking up at them clouds, or you looking at this shit from a different angle. <laughs> Honey. Mm-mm-mm. That's when that beaver moon comes and says, listen, because when you hung up like that, and you got time to think, and you can't move, you know? It's like being put on time out a little bit. 
but at the same time do you see all of this muscle build up all of the strength and now I'm you know what I just seen um because the hangman not in all situations rep rep um represents uh someone being emotionally hung up on something it can mean someone willingly just like said God you know this is beyond me just like <laughs> it's like asking God for some type of balance and show me what it is that I'm missing you know what I'm saying it's like kind of giving it's not it's, I don't want to say giving your power but yeah it's like relinquishing your power to God because it's just like I've been trying to do this on my own I'm hung in this situation and I'm coming to you for strength and balance and safety because honestly the hung man is hung up there by itself so that he could get himself together a little bit and see things the right way. So this is someone coming to God willing. Have you ever done that before? But like God just show me the truth. Just show me the truth. And for some reason, something happened where you were at the right place at the right time. And then London Bridge just fell and you was over here. <laughs> Do you feel me? <laughs> Listen to me. You was over here. Because <laughs> God said, you want to see? Let me put you over here. Put you right here. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Take the keys and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. <laughs> Y'all remember this song? Take the keys and lock her up, my fair lady. Hmm. You lucky you was over here when London Bridge came falling down. You feel me? Mm. Let me just keep going. Okay. Oh, you got the devil in. Oh, Lord. Yes. I already know it. I already know it. He was trying to do it. The devil in the reverse. The tower. The hermit. And then the hierophant. Yes. yes. Come on, Papa God. Listen, Papa God said, listen, I'm going to show you who the real fucking boss is around here. Okay? I'm going to show you who really runs shit around here. I listen. I let him play with you because you wanted to be played with. When you was ready to be on the right aspect of shit, and you really wanted blessings to really come to you, and you came to me willingly and said, God, show me what it is that I'm missing, what I failed to see, London Bridge came falling down. Did not to listen, did not tell you London Bridge came falling down, my fair lady. <laughs> ah, bitch! Bitch! Listen to me. Listen, you said, Father, I reject it. I respect it now. Listen, I don't go play in the role in places I don't want to be no more. I don't, I, 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 listen, this thing has been holding on me for far too long. Chasing, running around, doing shit you know you ain't supposed to be doing, being where you ain't supposed to be being, making gambles, getting into debts, making certain sacrifices, eating too much. Drinking and driving, smoking too, you know, all of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Calling out of your job when you know you should have been going to work. You over there running, trying to get some pussy or, you know what I'm saying? Not being responsible, all of that bullshit. Right? But you willingly said, Father God, show me what I need to see. And God, God said, the tower moment. You want to let go? You want to get out of this bondage, this entrapment? This thing that you've been having a hard time releasing. London, but God said, I'll take it all away right now. Boom. Boom. The tower moment. But see, this tower is a little bit different than other towers. You don't see too many people falling down here. Do you? That looks like protection. That looks like protection. <laughs> You see this lone wolf out there like, damn, well, I can't even, exactly, you, exactly, you can't. You can't. God done put this fortress up over this person. <laughs> okay. Don't put, okay, all right, all right. Look, the hermit with the tower. Safekeeping. So you can sit back and think 
Go through your soul journey in peace, in fucking quiet. God said, listen, you got a lot of learning to do. I let you go out there in the field. You wanted to play rough and scrape your knees. All right. I'm about to show you how to do this shit the right way. You understand? I'm not trying to control you. You have free will to do whatever you wanted to do. And I was here for you then. And I'm here for you now when you're ready. And you're ready to learn the right way. So the true blessings that you've been asking for could come to you. Baby, look at that bird right there on top of that wheel of fortune, baby. There's going to be a lot of communication and a lot of messages coming to you that is going to show you when you listen and you come willingly to learn, baby, so that you can really see that don't nothing positive come from this shit. Nothing positive. And y'all know what that shit is. And God gave you time to sit back and create to... I don't know if someone just went to jail or something and you were put up in a tower, okay? Safely removed from a situation, okay? They can't even, look, they can't find the door. I don't even see a door out there, okay? So what the fuck, they gonna climb up the side to get to your boy? Bye. Ain't no, you ain't got enough strength. Listen, <laughs> they ain't got enough strength. They ain't gonna put that much energy in it because they weak, okay? Do you understand? Look at that light. Look at that communication. Look at all that. Listen. This is about. They're telling me like. They're saying structure of fidelity. Fidelity. And you see how. how it's like looking at you. It's like. You've been fucking up. Whoever this was was fucking up, but it was like I got you. Like I got you, though. We about to create something. We about to create this river dam so these motherfuckers can't. They can't escape. They gonna stay where they at now. You understand what I'm saying? Only thing they can do is sit down and look at this tower of protection that I put around you, okay? And just look. It should woulda, shoulda, coulda. Listen, I wish you woulda came with me, but nigga, you still wanted to be with the fuck shit, so I had to leave you alone. Listen, on the bridge came falling down. My fa <laughs> take the keys and lock her up. <laughs> hey, yo, that is funny as shit. Take the keys and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the keys and lock her up. Listen. Oh my goodness. Oh, and this card just listen. I I don't know. My eyes just went to it. It says stripping illusions. Ain't that removing that devil away from you? Ain't that removing that toxic addiction? All of that shit that you've been trying to like really stop. Stripping illusions so that you could grow and really create. Okay, like I try to tell y'all, sometimes the tower moments are not bad. Sometimes the tower moments are the best things that you can ever ask for. Because God, y'all be asking God to remove it, right? God, please, this and that. I, tell, I keep telling y'all, when y'all be coming to God, we all have free will to make changes on our own. When we do not sit down and make changes on our own and we keep coming to God and asking God to help us, help us, help us, he going to put you aside, okay? And then also I'm getting here that maybe someone was sent to jail for a couple of days or something like that. And it's like, then they came out. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have did their time or something. And they came out and realized that there's this wall. Like you, like you can't go back to whatever this is and it's like it's like god is protecting you you know what i'm saying like it may be a shock like a sudden wall up or something like that or you do you, you're not able to access people because someone was sent to jail something like that but i'm really really getting that yeah it's like someone might be in jail i don't know like y'all have to take it the way it is but it's like someone was put away you understand? The hangman is someone being left alone to see something. To see something. And the wheel of fortune is right next to it. The devil was removed, locked up, put away in this tower, and now you're the lone wolf. Getting spiritual guidance from the hierophant because this devil isn't around anymore. Stripping the illusion. Give me one more. Thank you. 
Ooh, sexual energy. Ah, real. Okay, ah, real. Bitch, okay, come on. It's a real. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. Yes, come on now. <laughs> yes, but it's like, yeah, listen, that is today also stripping that illusion of that sexual energy and that, that's that, that, that's that, listen, that's that, 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 that. Oh, that's that, 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 that. That's that thing right there. Okay, don't nobody say that now. None of the way Aries say that now. Nada. That's why I be saying Aries keep it there, please. Don't nobody do that now. None of the way Aries do that now. Nada. And y'all know that. That's that, 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 that's that, that. Okay? Start stuttering about that, there. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen, God said, let me come on. Look, look. Now, listen, I'm about to play with you. Now, you know, every time this motherfucker come calling because they be trying to give you that listen. Sexual healing, sexual healing, baby. Let me shake for me. Can I shake my booty for a moment? Okay? Can I shake my booty for a moment? God be like, listen, let me show you how to calm yourself, your hot puss ass down. Calm your little hot ass down. Let me strip the illusion. It's devil dick. What is some devil puss? Okay? That ain't no unicorn puss box, girl. I don't that's that's listen. It's a the puss box spawned from Satan. You better leave that puss alone, girl. Okay? Or whoever. You understand? Sexual. Come on. Heal it. Come on. <laughs> that good rumping. Okay, girl. <laughs> Father God. Yes, sir. Let's get into this. Alright, so. You're stripping the illusion, this sexual energy somebody had on you with that devil in the reverse. You're stripping the illusion. A lot of blessings are coming to you. Someone is protected and someone was put to the side. Okay, we ain't giving a damn about people's emotions. Okay, we are creating here. What is this? Oh, Lord, the nine of spades. Good gracious. So who the fuck is going through this? Lord. Okay, so the nine of spades is like... Basically, feeling all of those like emotions of just like separation of someone like sabotaging something, betraying you, hurting you, you losing, you know what I'm saying? So, this is like someone feeling some type of emotional hurt and trauma. Um, and from loss, from you losing out in a situation, you know what I'm saying? So Let's see what we got to say about this. I'm hoping that this is not the Aries going through that. That's like... Okay, but you got the Nine of Diamonds. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's like... Listen, these are cycles. These are cycles and completions. So, yeah, you lost out on something that was not good for you, for you truly to get something that was the best for you. And the nines represent singular ship. That means soul ownership. So, you know what I'm saying? You have to, like, process these emotions of you failing on some bullshit that wasn't never meant to amount to nothing anyway. The only thing that can amount to diamonds is clubs. That means work. Do you understand? So whatever this was that didn't work out is because ever someone self-sabotaged that shit or these people weren't worth working for that they were only there to uh, uh, elude you, okay? Use you, hurt you, dishonor you, cheat you, beat you, disrespect you, <laughs> regret you. You understand what I'm saying? All of that shit. All of that negative talk, all of that. This is, this is like still... It's like the nine of swords energy as well. Like someone like steady thinking and, and obsessing over a loss or a failure. You know what I'm saying? But it's like as soon as you look up and you kind of get over that. You see what I'm saying? Because this can also be the hang up of some because I feel like they're being stripped of the illusion that this could have just been sex. You understand what I'm saying? And this person was taken away from me when you were removed from this person for you to really be able to create and, and, and find something more than that, something more valuable. The ten, I mean, the nine of diamonds is like um, your self-worth, putting your self-worth into everything that you do and everything that you put your hands on, like the Midas touch, everything that you put your hands on becomes successful because 
having to process and let something go and like go through those cycles and you know what I'm saying pressure creates diamonds really do you understand what I'm saying whatever this loss was made you realize how important and how beautiful you were so this is like you going through these cycles and these changes like recreating yourself but like I said separating yourself from the rest creating a dam not letting the overflow of bullshit come into your life. Listen, the Queen of Hearts. Come on, Melisandre. Girl, the Red Witch. Come on, Melisandre. Girl, roll your tongue with it. Melisandre. Come on, girl. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Spanish girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girlfriend. Red-haired vixen. Okay? Listen, I'm that good puss. <laughs> okay? I'm the one that they pray for um, uh, on, on stars that they wish for. Okay, you better let them know. Okay, it's something about when you come around people, you leave your essence that lingers in the motherfucking mind. They be like, damn, did this motherfucking just put some on me? Is the pussy that good? It is that motherfucking good. I love them that good. Do you understand? Come over there with red lace panties on, all that motherfucking nice stuff. What, why are you trying to seduce me? I am, nigga. I am, okay? She's a seductress. She's just like, what? And give you that good love. And she ain't going nowhere. Oh, no. I, I play for keeps, honey. Okay. Come on in. Cook you something. Put you to sleep with this good pussy and a good meal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Melisandre. Grown ass woman. Okay. <laughs> Come. Come with it. Come with it. Okay, we got the four hearts and the four spades. Okay, here we go with these double numbers again. So we got nine, nine, and a four, four. Okay? So the four spades represents needing to take a rest. Um, it rep I mean, it represents like the, like the four swords. Like someone going inwards, going through a soul journey. They might be sick right now. Um, You might be mentally and emotionally sick right now with like worry anxiety like a lot of pressure on you a lot of negative thinking and things like that and like god is just telling you to calm down and like just double that down with love because like for some reason it's like i don't know if you guys are being gifted with like a new home or like um i mean but really the four of hearts represent sex <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So it's like, I don't know if you guys are being, are being gifted with a new sexual home or something like that. Like, if you just calm down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll find a new bed. I don't, I mean, this also means like a new bed as well, like a sex, a, a, making a romp in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Basically, creating something. With a full solid emotional solidarity and, and a lot of sex and love making and passion and, and beautiful shit that be going on in the bedroom. A nice bed, a nice beautiful home, somewhere that you have a lot of comfort and there's a lot of fucking love security there, basically. <laughs> Enough where you could create a baby, basically. Okay? So it's like, take some time, work through this frustration because if you don't watch this, this can be um, permanent emotional insecurity, permanent emotional mental damage. And you know what I'm saying? Like, again, like I said, the nine of spades obsessing over negative things that happened in the past and not focusing on the future, suffering from a loss and not realizing how much you've gained or how important you are. On your own. Like someone else shouldn't complete you. And you shouldn't give a damn. Do you understand what I'm saying? And whoever the, this is their loss. Do you understand? It is their loss. You shouldn't give a damn and you should create a damn. So that energy can't spill over into your. Listen. I'm fond of my pond. Listen. I am fond of my pond bitch. I am good. Do you understand? Nine of I'm good on my own. I really don't need nobody to do shit for me. Or to give me nothing. If anything, y'all benefit way more from me than I would ever benefit from you. So, like, okay, I am fond of my little pawn, bitch. Again, I am fond of my little pawn. And that means you can attract 
<laughs> a lot of shit to the spawn, okay? Because this bed be knocking. You understand? Once you create that, and it seems like whatever this the sadness has to do with, it has to do with being hung up on a loss. And even if you're not hung up on it no more, like we said, this is all free will. But these are a lot of negative thoughts and things like that, that God's telling you to stop because you're doing it to yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just thoughts. You have to have mind control. You got to have mind control. Think about how much you love and think how much you have to give. And if you're a man, think about the fact that there are women out there like that. That could give you all that good love, all that like sexual sensuality and all that good, just like, uh, yes, <laughs> like yeah, it's sexual energy and like all that. It's like so you're just stripping the illusion of things that would never amount to what, what it is you're fantasizing about and get into like the real meat and potatoes so that you could really find this. And then there, there go those three of hearts. So again, this represents love to the point where th this represents like childbirth like you know what i'm saying like birth this represents like letting god into a relationship like that's the third party unless there's spades around which there are spades there so again it's like think about what you're attracting and what you're manifesting with your thoughts you know what i'm saying because if you keep yourself trapped up and hung up on old shit that you can attract this can be the third party type of shit because you you know what I'm saying but that's not in the cards for you because the will of fortune is there the tower the hermit and the hierophant do you see what I'm saying so you're learning how to get the devil and the toxic shit the karmic shit out of your relationships you're being protected you understand so you can learn how to let God and true love into your relationships with their three of hearts we're gonna claim it we're gonna claim it and then the seven of clubs represents, this basically represents hard work. It represents hard work. It represents unexpected change, but like, like really doing whatever you got to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it represents hard work to the point where you could get exhausted. You know what I'm saying? Or like, you need to watch yourself because you might be putting yourself in overdrive so with this over here being by the hierophant and stuff like that with the hierophant and the hermit and the tower and the devil in reverse that's basically telling me it's like you're focusing yourself on new love and letting real education like real structure real balance you know what i'm saying real honor and being okay with that security it's like you're learning you're learning a lot of important ways that can take you very, very far. And it's like you might be staying up all night like studying and, and, and learning new ways and how to love and be a real good man or real honorable wife and things like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like kind of healing yourself and letting hope, faith, virtue, new abundance, all of that stuff. You, It's like... You are being that queen of hearts so that you can attract that in your life, so that you can create what the balance in the relationships that you want by you being that yourself and going through a stage of new teaching. You understand? So let's get into the actual love cards. Come on now. Four, four, and nine, nine. More now. You got eight. Moving on. Emotionally moving on. Putting yourself at a safe distance. You see? Like walking away. Seriously. And this is opening up in the reverse. But you're needing to get yourself aligned in regards to... It's, it's like, with this right here, <sighs> what 
with this right here, it's basically telling me it's like, for some reason, it's like you don't feel secure. You don't feel grounded. Um, you don't feel safe enough to kind of like open up to start a new foundation yet. It's like you got to put that investment in you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like you're working hard to love yourself and create a new day. You know what I'm saying? That's what the three of hearts also represents. It represents new love. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I want new love. So I got to put this work in. And I was like, I got to listen. God already told me I'm hard headed. You know what I'm saying? I already got my ass spanked a couple times. Look the way he looking at me. He like, now listen, you going to listen this time or what? I ain't got time to be playing with you. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Right now, you just focused on moving on and um, making sure people can't trace your footsteps. <laughs> they just told me, okay? And you're not at the point where you're ready to open up because you're still trying to get that root chakra together. Okay, so we're going to do two more sprays and then we're done. open up justice karmic justice so there is most definitely being some balancing going on here all right it seems like you're coming around the corner for a second chance at life um like really just trying to be on the right side of things this time i told you releasing whatever it is whatever it is that you've been giving into some type of lust some gambling uh, some different type of perspective of life you were trying to like hold on to um, what is this the nine of cups listen emotional fulfillment <laughs> they say gallantry I don't know what the hell that means gallantry this girl I went under the damn sea and I found a treasure chest full of gold, honey. Yes, ma'am. And then the four of wands. Again, this is another four of wands being in the reverse. So that's basically telling me, um, I feel like you're being quiet about your celebration. Like this might be a solo cup. Okay. Who got the oak cups? Hey, I got the oak cups. Hey, I said, who got the oak cups? I said, I got the old cup. See, listen, it's, remember when I was saying something about, um, are y'all serving old cups? Yes. Okay, so old cups is, in D.C., old cups is basically, back in the day, now, I don't know if they still be serving old cups, but, like, back, well, hopefully not no real wicked-ass old cups, but it's basically, you would have, like, your neighborhood cocktail chef and shit like that. And they would just put together all these like amazing different, basically making like a jungle, like a strong ass jungle juice and like shit like that. Nowadays, they probably infusing that shit with like some herb and, you know, THC oils and shit like that and stuff like that or whatever. So, you know, so it's just basically like a hood juice, like a hood cocktail. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if like right now it's like. And, you know, uh, the Nine of Cups could represent drinking, you know what I'm saying? Someone being smug or something like that and, you know, being full on their self. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse can mean someone drinking a lot to their self. But it looks like it's like you got enough to share or to sell or something like that. So remember, it was like having... Um, creating like inventory like they're telling me and then still like the nine of diamonds that does represent like an entrepreneur you know what i'm saying like a someone that is a hustler someone that knows how to save and and, and things you know someone that knows how to save and make money and understand the principle and the value of money and their time and their worth and their respect and their you know what I'm saying it's like remember I said the Midas touch like everything that you put your hands on is gold so I don't know if like right now you guys are like hustling but y'all are doing this shit on the right side of justice now like y'all done went and just like listen I'm, I'm, I'm on Instagram 
everybody like my cocktails and shit. So shit, like I'm to mixing up fucking O cups or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I got some infused joints. You know what I'm saying? I got just like some regular motherfucking like lemonades. You know, look, I got some chronic iced teas and shit like that. Like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like I am. It seems like the way that you've changed a little bit and really took things with the hierophant structure, like following the rules this time, being on the right side of justice. Look, instead of being a bad girl, look at look. He was cute as shit when he was out there being bad though. Ah, look at her. <laughs> girl, you look cute though. Like, oh God, like this bad girl, listen, but you on the bad look, you was looking cute though. But like now you all innocent and just, I'm just gonna do everything the right way. I just wanna have peace and abundance and love and calm energy and fruitful abundance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. But then I got the Ocas. Hey, I said, I got the old cup. Look, but you just say you ain't dropping no wild shit in them cups. Like, you ain't doing, you ain't selling that wild shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling the legal shit, okay? I am selling the legal shit, okay? I got my license. I got my, my, my little, t uh, my medical marijuana, okay? I bought this shit legally, nigga. I'm doing the right dosages. I ain't trying to get niggas too high. This isn't medicated, okay? This is to help people decrease their stress, okay? And be at their best so that they can bring forth success, okay? Don't put real, you know, good energy in these cups, okay, bitch? Okay? I do read all that, bitch, okay? So it's like, um, I, I, don't, I feel like you don't have time to celebrate right now. Um, you're not stressing over no reunions and getting together and, like, time is money for y'all, it seems like to me. Um, like, instead of focusing your energy on trying to let people back in your life and reconnect with people, you know what I'm saying? And focusing on this divorce and things like that. It's like, you know, because the full wands. Oh, and then, okay. And then the y'all just seen the emperor just fall out. I'm taking care of things on my own. I'm being the boss. You know what I'm saying? If you got your kids, you're being a good father right now, you know? You're slowly opening up, but mainly it's like you're you're focusing on business, um, running ship. Like like you run a type ship. Like you don't even dress the same anymore. I feel like you don't wear a whole bunch of like hoodie hood clothes and shit, like street gear and things like that. It's like because if this is a male Aries, you're trying to attract this queen. And if you are the female Aries, this is you being the queen. And you're trying to attract this king. So I was like, what is it going to benefit me focusing on old shit that's in the past that's ruined when God has took me out of that for a reason. And I've realized that because I'm seeing all of the blessings coming into my life now. Entrepreneur. It's like if you wouldn't have had this time to yourself, I don't even think that you would have started this business. Because like the nine of cups being someone being by themselves, being self-fulfilled. Do you understand? So nines there's a lot of nines do you know what I'm saying so yeah and there's a lot of fours this four this four these two fours four 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 so clearly this does represent a divorce it represents um canceled plans uh you know a lack of fondness and that's okay that's okay because um it seems like peaceful thoughts peaceful energy especially in their room where they Anyway, just peaceful thoughts, warm energy is very, very important right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you got other things to celebrate about. I feel like you most definitely have other things to celebrate about that are way more important. Um, let's finish this off with a little uh, Lenormand. So, give me guidance on this tower. The writer, the sickle, the stars, the moon. Okay, crossing the moon, the tree. All right, so we have the writer. 
the writer again represents new information, new communication, like sudden arrivals, a visit, someone just popping up unexpectedly, like things like that. Messages and things, um, express mail, you know. So check your mail. And then again, the nine of hearts. So it's like something that is going to bring some type of wish granted type of thing like that. The sickle, again, that's represent removing something so that other things can grow. You understand? So you might be getting some communication that something has been officially removed. Um, and it might have opened up some space for you to get a grant or a loan or something now with that jack of hearts. I mean, with that jack of diamonds. So it's something that you removed to make space for and now you're getting communication about new blessings you know what i'm saying you getting approval you getting invited somewhere like some level of acceptance or you're seeing some growth in certain areas do you understand the stars represents wishes represents like spirituality represents astrology like you know so it's like you could have been watching the stars, watching like the planetary alignments and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you might have been out there wishing on the moon and stars on certain days and things like that. <laughs> so, you know, um, the six of hearts represents, uh, I want to say like, it, it typically represents like the masculine energy per se, or just like, I want to say like a peaceful love environment. Like, um, let me get some other words. Let me just get some better words. Excuse me. So, okay. The six of diamonds, a love relationship, a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry. Remember I was saying gallantry before they were telling me gallantry. When this card came out, it was, I'm like gallantry. What the fuck is gallantry? Gallantry. Courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional connection. The six of hearts represents a past life or soul connections. Masculine energy, a male lover, a brother or son, a bachelor or unmarried man. Anything genuinely associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. Okay? So this could represent male energy. Okay? Again, a love relationship. It could start out as a friendship. Somewhere where there's some emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith. It's like y'all just skipping along with each other, just not having a care in the world. The moon represents cycles. Again, hey, the nines, the nines, and you're going through that to understand your self-worth, to get you to slowly rebuild yourself, you know, so that you can open up, you know. So remember, we also said that we're stripping of illusions, Okay. So whatever secrets, whatever, whatever it was that you were looking for to be shown to you so you can figure out what you need to do to move on and stuff like that. It's something that you wasn't trying to face or something that you didn't really want to focus your energy on and it was getting in the way of you rebuilding. You're being stripped of that illusion. Listen, eight of hearts represents mutual love, mutual attraction, mutual connection. Mutual, so that you can stop tripping over these illusions with motherfuckers that are losers and people that really don't deserve your energy. Let go of that law so that you can gain some mutual, beneficial energy. The moon also represents spiritual abundance and spiritual enlightenment, being pulled emotionally by spirit. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual intelligence and awareness, you know. So it's like even being in control of your emotions. Do you understand? So so that you can find a mutual attraction. The tree represents your health. I, I mean, to, I want to say your health, your wealth, your abundance, your growth. You know what I'm saying? This means going through a personal growth. You see how this tree is secluded? It's not about, it is, it's on an island by itself, surrounded it by water. So that they can get, remember I was talking about earlier in the prayer about just like, May showers and everything like that, right? So it's like if we don't have these downpours sometimes, and that is also like tower moments, downpours. You know what I'm saying? It might be a the flood of shit just coming down on you, but at the same time, if you didn't have that experience, that tower moment coming to your life where everything was just crashing down on you, you wouldn't have the strength and the fortitude and the thoughts to sit down and create that dam. 
Because we don't give a damn about that shit. We ain't about to affect us no more. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't about to affect us no more. So it's about you going through this growth. And you being secluded right now to go through this growth so that you can really be more healthy, more stable-minded. You understand? And so that things can be a lot more secure. A lot more secure. And, um, yeah. It says body. Your body. You know? And remember, like, your body is how much percent of water? So, it's something about you have not been... Taking care of your body and your like, your health and things as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you needed to be secluded from wherever it was so that you can create and like get yourself healthy and strong. You know what I'm saying? And again, a very, very serious dedication on stripping of illusions. Do you understand? Stripping on illusions. And again, this can have something to do with sex because the four of clubs represent sex. Being in the bed. The four corners of a bed having sex. Do you understand? Let me tell y'all. Okay. The four means emotional stability, partnership, marriage. The four posts of a marriage bed, physical union, sexual contact. Remember, and we were talking about the four of wands here. So they're being in separation and divorce. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen. The four of spades, someone needing to... Take some time out and just like rest and stop worrying and because it is going to create a permanent sickness. You know what I'm saying? Like a permanent insecurity. You know what I'm saying? If people don't allow certain things to just die and just let it go away, it can. You know what I'm saying? If you keep holding on to negative emotions because you can't strip the illusion over some sexual energy that's just sex. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're only going to hurt yourself. That's why it's just saying to cut it out you understand so again it represents um a relationship between two people the return of a lover mending of a broken friendship party having fun a bed a sofa a comfortable chair do you understand what i'm saying so like you can't mend a relationship with sex you know what i'm saying that's they're just stripping the illusion around that and allowing yourself to be, listen, the number five represents changes and challenges, but it also represents freedom and travel and being quick with it and adaptability. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you're going through this shit for a reason, okay? So I love you. Shout out to all my emperors out there. This has been Scorpion Red Tarot. This is your reading. If this reading resonated, hit the like button. If you want to send some support to the page, check out my Amazon wish list. If you want to book with me, send me a message on Instagram. I love you, Aries. Keep it there, please. Listen, y'all said, huh? I'm moving on. Girl, Bye bye Boop, boop, boop. Peace.